Hey guys, let's go over those questions at the end of the last video on absolute values. First up, we have the absolute value of x plus 4 is equal to 8. Solve for x. So the first thing we need to do is just remove the absolute value symbols, and we get x plus 4 is equal to 8. We also need to solve for this equation if we were to put a negative through the absolute value terms. So we get negative x minus 4 is equal to 8. Now we just solve for x in both of these equations. Here we need to subtract 4 from both sides and we get x is equal to 4. Over here we have negative x, is, uh, negative x minus 4 is equal to 8, so we need to add 4 to both sides. Then we need to divide by negative 1 to remove the negative in front of the x, and we get x is equal to negative 12. So we get x is equal to 4 or negative 12. Now to double check we just put 4 here, 4 plus 4 is 8, that works. Here we have negative 12, plug that in, we get negative 12 plus 4, which is negative 8, and the absolute value signs get rid of the negative, so we have 8 equals 8. Next we have 2 is less than the absolute value of x plus 3, which is less than 10. Solve for x. So first we just need to remove the absolute value symbols. Then we need to run a negative through the absolute value terms negative x minus 3 is less than 10. Now just solve for x. So over here, first we need to subtract 3 from both sides. So we get negative 1 is less than x is less than 7. So we get negative 1 is less than x is less than 7 for, as one set of answers. And over here, we need to add 3 to both sides. Then, because we need to divide by negative 1 on both sides, we need to flip the signs so we get negative 5 is greater than x, which is greater than negative 13. And those are the two sets of answers. Now to test whether those are correct, here let's select x equals 2. 2 plus 3 is 5, which is between 2 and 10. That works. Here let's pick negative 10. Negative 10 plus 3 is 7. 7 is between 2 and 10, so that works. Next, we have 3 is less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus 6, which is less than or equal to 12. Graph the solutions for x. So like in the previous question, we need to first remove the absolute value signs, then also run a negative through it. So we have negative x plus 6 is less than or equal to 12. Now solve for x. Over here, we need to add 6 to both sides. And over here, we need to subtract 6, and we get negative 3 is less than or equal to negative x is less than or equal to 6. Now we need to flip the signs, because we're dividing by negative 1 on both sides. So we get 3, and over here we get negative 6. Now to graph these solutions, we just need a number line zero in the middle. We know that one set of answers is between 9 and 18. Now because these symbols are less than or equal to's, we need the dots on the 9 and 18 to be solid dots, not open, because those numbers are included in the answers. And bold the number line in between those dots. We also know the other set is between 3 and negative 6, and we bold those dots as well, and then bold the number line, and that's it. Now just to double check, make sure those answers work, let's pick 10 over here. 10 minus 6 is 4, 4 is between 3 and 12, so that works. And over here, let's take negative 6. Negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. Absolute value signs get rid of the negative, so 12 is greater than or equal to 3 and it is equal to 12, so that works. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and give the video a like if you found it helpful.